welcome to your channel parivartan dear students in this video we are going to learn uh, a practical called as resistivity of material of the wire right so let us see in detail about the circuit connection the procedure calculation as well as the result and we'll see we'll understand how to find the resistivity of the material of the wire if you need the same uh, practical in dual language kannada as well as english i have already uploaded the video and the link is available in the description box you can go and watch it right okay without making any delay let us go on to the circuit we'll first see the circuit connection and then we'll go for the procedure calculation and then results okay okay let us okay so this is the experimental setup i mean the circuit connection of the practical resistivity of material of the wire so what all apparatus we are using here we are using a battery eliminator so that is the battery eliminator and we are using a ammeter voltmeter experimental wire this is the experimental wire uh, plug key and rheostat so these are the instruments we are using in this practical see let us begin the circuit connection now see this is the battery eliminator which converts high voltage to low voltage as well as ac to dc and gives us so red terminal indicates positive terminal of the battery black indicates negative terminal of the battery so we have to start the connection from positive terminal of the battery see positive terminal of the battery is connected to positive terminal of the battery is connected to positive of the ammeter right and negative of the ammeter is connected to positive of the voltmeter along with that wire i have connected one end of the experimental wire to the positive of the voltmeter so here negative of the ammeter and one end of the experimental wire are together connected to positive of the voltmeter another end of the experimental wire is connected to the negative of the voltmeter and from the same negative of the voltmeter i am giving the connection to the upper end of the rheostat this is the upper end of the rheostat and from opposite lower end of the rheostat we are connecting to one end of the plug key and another end of the plug key is connected to negative of the battery clear so this is the total connection of this practical so let me tell you once more positive terminal of the battery to the positive positive terminal of the battery to the positive of ammeter negative of ammeter to the positive of voltmeter to the same end one end of the experimental wire is connected to the another end of the experimental wire is connected to negative of the voltmeter from negative of the voltmeter we are connecting to the upper end of the rheostat another end of the rheostat is connected to what one end of the plug key and another end of the plug key is connected to negative of the battery right so this is the overall connection of this experiment okay let us move on to the procedure now as we have already seen the circuit connection now let us see the procedure of this experiment first you have to switch on the circuit insert the plug key so like this will be the setup see uh, here is the rheostat rheostat is used to control the current flow in the circuit and it is also used to vary the resistance so at one end i have kept the knob of the rheostat at one end of the rheostat and you can observe the needles of both the meters are at zero now a meter is also showing zero reading volt meter is also showing zero reading so like that you have to first keep the rheostat if it is not showing zero then you take it to the opposite end if i am if i have kept the knob here and if the both the meters are not showing zero you take it to opposite end they will show zero zero okay for me now presently both are showing zero so the knob of the rheostat is here the procedure is simple here you have to go on manually increasing the voltage by 0.1 for every trial 0.1 volt 0.2 volt 0.3 volt 0.4 volt 0.5 volt 0.6 volt like this and respective current you have to note down right so how to increase that voltage by using the knob of the rheostat you go on moving this knob of the rheostat you can observe the voltage and current both will rise so manually you should go on increasing the voltage like this by using the knob of the rheostat right so the voltage goes on increasing and the current also goes on increasing so go on increasing voltage uniformly by 0.1 volt for every trial and note down the corresponding current in the ammeter right okay let us go to that step now and we'll see it clearly right okay by moving the knob of this rheostat you can vary the voltage as well as current okay now you can observe both the meters are visible for you see i have taken both voltmeter as well as ammeter of range 3 volt and 3 amperes right so this is from 0 to 3 volts and this is from 0 to 3 amperes see first number is 
and after 0, after 10 divisions, we have 0 0.5. So, this is 0 0.5. There are 10 lines in between 0 and 0 0.5. And after 10 lines, we have 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. The same way, the scale is in ammeter also. So, here in this, one division indicates 0 0.05. One division indicates 0 0.05. Right? First line is 0. I will just show it a little bit clearer. Okay, let me show a little bit clearer that. Okay, see. Hope it is visible clearly to you. See, here in the old meter, you can observe this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0 0.5. So, there are totally 10 divisions in between 0 and 0 0.5. So, after 0, the next line indicates 0 0.05. Second line indicates 0 0.1 and next line indicates 0 0.15. So, like this, the division value has to be taken. So, one division indicates 0 0.05 here. How we are going to vary voltage in this experiment? We are going to vary voltage as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 like this. So, for every trial, you should go on moving this needle by two divisions. So, from 0, next to two divisions, if you move, it will be 0 0.1. 1 and 4 divisions from 0, 0 0.2, 6 divisions from 0, 0 0.3, like, right? Like this, we have to go on moving. So, you should just go on in moving this needle by 2 divisions for every trial so that the voltage goes on increasing as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, like this. And respective current, we have to note down from the ammeter, right? Okay, ammeter is also having the same type of scale. You can just observe here. Ammeter is also having the same type of scale, right? So, here also we have 0 and 0 0.5. So, here in this scale also, one division indicates 0 0.05. Two division means it is equal to 0 0.1. In both the scales, two divisions equal to 0 0.1. Four divisions equal to 0 0.2. Six divisions equal to 0 0.3. Eight divisions equal to 0 0.4. Like this it is. Ten divisions is 0 0.5. Right? Okay. So, we will go on increasing the voltage and we will go on noting down the corresponding current reading. Right? Okay. Let us begin the process. Okay. So, you can watch the scale on the voltmeter as well as the scale on the ammeter here. See, while taking the readings, you have to see this scale reading exactly perpendicular to the scale. Right? So, now you can observe the needle is on 0th division of the voltmeter. Now, I am holding the camera perpendicular to the scale, that is why I am uh, able to see it correctly. If you hold it, if you hold your eye like this from the sideways, if you see it from the sideways, you can find the needle will not be exactly at 0. Uh, you can observe it, it is somewhere in front of the 0. If I hold my eye on this side, I will find it somewhere behind the 0. So, these are the wrong methods of reading the scale. The correct method is you have to observe it perpendicularly like this. If you observe it perpendicularly like this, then only we will get the correct reading, right? Okay, let us move on to the step-by-step -step procedure. Okay, so both the meters are visible to you right now. So, remember in both the scales here, 2 division is equal to 0 0.1, right? So, for every 2 divisions, you should go on adding 0 0.1, right? For 2 divisions, 0 0.1, 4 divisions, 0 0.2, 6 divisions, 0 0.3, like this. Okay, so uh, you, you may be having different range voltmeter as well as ammeter. So, for any meter, whichever is given to you, for that, to know the value of one division, what you have to do is, you should divide the next number which is next to 0. For example, in this scale, 0, next number of 0 is 0 0.5. That 0 0.5 is after 10 divisions of 0, right? So, here also the first number is 0 and next is 0 0.5. So, you divide that next number by 10. For example, 0 0.5 divided by 10, it will give me 0 0.05. So, that gives you least count of this meter. Least count means it is the value of one division in that scale. So, here one division is equal to 0 0.05. In this also one division is equal to 0 0.05. So, two divisions will give you 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 that is nothing but 0 0.1. Right? That is why we are taking two divisions equal to 0 0.1 in these scales. Okay. Now, I will just go on moving the knob of the rheostat. You can observe the variations in the old meter as well as ammeter. I will just show you first and then we will take the readings. Say I am moving the knob of the rheostat and you can observe both the needles are rising in old meter as well as ammeter. Both the needles are rising. It means that 
current is also increasing and voltage is also increasing both voltage and current are increasing right so that's why we say current and voltage are directly proportional if they are increasing like this then if both are increasing like this then only we can say the circuit connection is correct if one is increasing and another one is decreasing or it is not increasing then you are somewhere your circuit connection is wrong you can get your connection right or wrong confirmation by this method okay so that's all about how the variation of current and voltage takes place okay now let us begin the procedure see very first thing is we want to keep for the first trial we want to take voltage as 0 0.1 volt and we want to note down the corresponding current reading so to keep voltage 0 0.1 how many divisions i should move the needle in front of zero i have to move two divisions see here in the uh, camera you can in the video you can see the needle is in front of the zero a little bit in front of the zero it is right okay i will just make a correction uh, it has to be exactly at zero okay now it is exactly at zero for in camera it may be visible a little bit forward but when you observe it perpendicularly to the scale uh, naturally when i am standing here and i am looking it is at exactly zero okay so first for the first trial we want to keep voltage as 0 0.1 0 0.1 means how many divisions the needle has to move it has to move two divisions forward right okay just observing the voltmeter go on moving the knob of the rheostat until the needle moves or deflects by two divisions yes now it is at two divisions it means the voltage is 0 0.1 how much is the current you can observe current how many divisions it has covered see it has covered two divisions and it is in front of two divisions so this is zero first line you should not count zeroth line you should not count next line is one uh, next line to that is two right so the needle is in between second and third division so when the needle comes in between two divisions you have to take the lower division value right so how many divisions are covered now 0 1 2 two divisions are covered then how much is the value of current uh, two division means it is 0 0.1 in ammeter also and in voltmeter also so that's why here i have to take it like this there are two divisions covered by the needle and value of one division is 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 into 2 that will give you 0 0.1 so voltage is 0 0.1 volts and current is also 0 0.1 ampere right okay so for the trial i will show it a little bit closer to you see how much voltage i have kept you can observe there how much voltage i have kept voltage is 0 0.2 volts how i can say this see uh, the needle is on fourth division first line is zero first line is zero this is zero right this is zero so after zero don't count that zeroth line you take it as zero only 0 1 2 3 4 so on fourth division the needle is present so how much is the voltage then voltage is 0 0.2 volts because two division means it is 0 0.1 volt so four division means it is 0 0.2 volts okay now let us see the corresponding current how much is the current so you can observe here the needle is on exactly fourth division of the scale right so fourth division means how much it is 0 0.2 ampere correct so this is 0 0.2 ampere so when voltage is 0 0.2 volts when voltage is 0 0.2 volts current is 0 0.2 ampere so this is all about the second trial next we will go for the third trial okay for third trial we have kept voltage 0 0.3 volts let us observe how it is 0 0.3 volts see on which division the needle is present now it is on sixth division right so after zero first line is zero after zero there are five division fifth division is a little bit lengthier you can see its extension above uh, the curved line okay so on sixth division the needle is lying that's why how much is the voltage now voltage is 0 0.3 volts let us see how much is the corresponding current okay so current is see the needle of the ammeter is lying on again the sixth division of the scale so sixth division of the scale indicates 0 0.3 ampere so when the voltage is 0 0.3 volts when the voltage is 0 0.3 volts at that time the current is 0 0.3 amperes so like this i will take the rest of the trials by just increasing the voltmeter voltage how you have to increase the voltage 
by moving this knob forward you will increase the voltage step by step and you will note down the corresponding current so rest of the readings i will take and i will come for the calculation directly now okay okay we have already taken the readings of all the trials so resistivity of the material of the wire so this is the circuit connection see length of the experimental wire it will be given radius of the experimental wire will also be given so 0.54 millimeter it was i have taken it in meter 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter okay here you can observe i have taken all six trials and i have calculated resistivity see i went on increasing the potential by 0 0.1 volts for first trial 0 0.1 Second trial 0 0.2 volt is 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Right? So the corresponding currents are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So here, up till here, it has increased uniformly, and then a little bit slight difference we have got, but nothing to worry. Whatever you get there, you note it down that only. Right? Don't change or don't keep in mind that it has to come like this only. Whatever you get there practically, that you have to note down right so dividing v and i i will get resistance so resistance is this much so for all trials we have got the resistance this much mean of the resistance is 0 0.9 ohm right so this is say to be the resistance of the wire so to calculate resistivity we have the formula pi r square into resistance r divided by l so pi is 3.142 and small r indicates radius radius is 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 here see uh, you may be having different wire uh, so there is no any condition that every wire is of same diameter or same radius so your wire radius may be different from the wire i have taken and the material of your wire may be different from the material of wire i have taken so resistivity of your wire may not come exactly how much i have got because materials will change if the material changes then resistivity changes okay so the pi is 3.142 radius is this much this is the resistance of the wire capital r divided by length length is one meter so i have got resistivity as 0 0.824 into 10 to the power minus 6 ohm meter right so this is all about the readings of the six trials what we have taken till now right so resistivity of material of the wire dear students if you like the content of this channel please don't forget to subscribe and share the video share the channel with your friends thank you so much we'll meet again in the next video uh, keep watching and supporting the channel thank you